This is the Firefly Virtual Learning Environment, which we're viewing in browser mode at the moment. Uh, we have the dashboard for staff and students and parents. Everything's in one page straight away. You can change the theme in a couple of clicks. Uh, you can add all sorts of little uh, add-ons on the side, say calendars, um, tasks that are due. You can see a video that's been embedded there. There's the timetable there, which could be the same for a staff or student. You can click straight through to the group and the individual student members. I really like the way that regardless of what computer device, phone or tablet you're using, this is the same interface every single time. This can also be seen when you actually want to add content or change content. Here we're looking at English lesson and we've clicked on edit and we're editing directly on the page, not going to a separate um, interface at all. And now we're going to create a page. And once again, we see exactly how it would appear on the page. We're typing text, we're adding uh, an image, just in a couple of clicks, images there, we can see what it looks like. Same for um, a file, uh, a nice feature, is you can put a PowerPoint file in, for example, and it loads online. You, you're not having to open PowerPoint to view it, uh, which is quite useful for those that don't have Office at home. And um, with uh, things like embedding uh, web links and things like that, you could embed a YouTube video by grabbing the embed code, uh, which is possibly a little bit longer winded, but if we go to the more category, that you can directly add the URL from YouTube. And once again, that appears straight away as well. Um, you can uh, embed whole web pages. So if we took the secondary BBC computing page, and uh, we can just copy the paste in here, and that also appears as a live embed of the website so you all, all the uh, options are clickable within it um, if you wanted to embed an activity that you use maybe like something like yakapaka or kahoot or something like that uh, yakapaka is particularly useful for this because you can embed the quiz and the quiz will actually work where kahoot you would have to join the teacher's room which is slightly different um, but all would would work technically in sort of the same way so here we are using all the links and showing that everything works within the page that you could have given your student and that literally could have been done in less than a minute really if you had all your links to hand um, so very quick lesson creation assignment creation is just as quick um, assignments are tasks in firefly so here we are setting a task uh, and we're choosing who we're setting it to what the dates are and we've added a file as well and we've published it and that literally took no time at all and if you want to search through all the tasks, we can find the task that we've just set and all the people waiting for them to um, submit their responses. And if we, and one feature of Firefly, which is quite nice, is to be able to very quickly jump and see what it looks like from a certain person's point of view. So we're here looking at the student who's seen the task and is now going to upload a file um, to submit their version of the task and that will be received by the teacher. Um, and then we can jump back to the teacher view and see that submission right there and mark it online straight away give feedback here through text um, you could also add marks and grades um, so very easily you can see who has and who hasn't submitted the work and mark it uh, whether you were doing that on your phone your tablet your computer it wouldn't make any difference it would all be live and up to date if we then go back to the student view we can see how the student can view the feedback that the teacher has given and a parent could also view this of course as well blogging can be implemented very easily from uh, from the student's dashboard they can write a blog a blog post and choose which of the available blogs they can add it to uh, so that could be done in one click um, so that could be reflection on work it could be um, groups that they're involved with or just personal reflection uh, and now all students could be feeding into that blog and then if we go to the teacher view we can see where those blogs uh, appear and how the teacher would see it Firefly's built-in messaging service can replace a lot of wasted email um, groups can be very easily added so here we see parents or individual parents names um, which could of course that could be staff or students or student groups uh, anybody you want uh, write your message in um, you can tick to say that you don't want other people to see who they're sending it to um, and that's instantly sent to everybody who's got a Firefly account. If we now jump across to one of the parent accounts, you'll see that message appear in their messages right there. Another massively important 
aspect of a VNE should be its reporting um, of students' progress. And Firefly um, does this really nicely. Uh, you can go into your profiles, your groups that you teach, and view individual students if you want to, which will give you an overview of what um, you um, mark them and other people. Uh, but you can also pull reports like this example here. Any of the features that we've seen so far could be used with any stakeholders, um, whether it's parents, um, governors, staff, students, doesn't matter who it is. Um, you could use those same ones. So, for example, um, a poll which, or a survey, which you could use in the classroom, can just as easily be used um, to send a message out uh, as a survey or a poll to the parent dashboards, um, just to give you some general feedback. Um, but you could use it for a more a specific reason if you wanted to. So here we can see somebody voting and uh, if we go back to the teacher account we can just have a quick look at those results coming in there. So there's a quick and easy way to do surveys and polls. The calendar is able to give uh, different views for different stakeholders, different kinds of views. So you can see um, absolutely everything that's going on at the moment. Here is a nice example of a more advanced form to plan for trips where a teacher submits the idea for the trip and then can use this to send out um, invites um, to parents, an example, and, and wait to see the results come back in and, and also to help you plan for risk assessments. It is just as easy to send uh, forms and reports and things to parents as it would be to set a task for students. Uh, here we're going to send out a form uh, to parents asking them to complete it online and send it back advantage of this is that you get a live view of who has and who hasn't um, and you've got it all stored electronically and I think it's this kind of use that shows how flexible and firefly can be really whether you want to manage the quality process um, manage the your parent uh, portal or assign work to students the um, the learning curve is, is very very simple and you keep using the same kinds of tasks over and over again